you all right? Another strange noise. Sorry, I'm still not detecting it. Oh! Uh, look at that! What exactly is this? It, it seems artificial. Is it something an ARC's operative left behind? No, it feels unnatural. Based on its parameters, it seems to be a weapon, and yet it has an odd shape. Is it broken? Are you alright? Who is that? Drop that! That was close. Hey! I was curious, so I started following you. So what's going on here? Are they... from ARCs? Yeah, it's your job to look up things like that. Uh, um, just ran a complete search. L let's see what we've got. W what do you mean, no hits? Hey, you. State your name and affiliation. <laughs> Are you ignoring me? With that stupid mask? Lose it, you creep. Get in my way, and I'll kill you. <sighs> well, all right. Guess we're gonna do this the hard way then.
you're wide open! Whoa there! You chipped my sword, but you aren't looking so hot either. Damn you! Whew, that was nuts! Hey, you okay there? You've got some stamina, leaping into a brawl right then and there. Props. So, was that masked joker after that junk you're holding? You heard a weird noise. I didn't. Neither did I. No. No, I didn't. I didn't pick up anything either. Well, save it for the lobby. Now let's get out of here. Hey, you got the data you wanted. Uh, right, Professor? Yes. I have plenty. But how did you know what my request was? Yeah, well, you know how it is. A senior's always got to know everything their junior's up to. Except I'm the one who looked it up. Ugh, don't blow my cover. Come on, let's mosey. It's you. Are you here to show me something? Something that might stoke my fires again? Forget it. It's no use. Another run-of-the-mill weapon could never hope to light a fire in my... my... What is this thing? Its form is riddled with excess, and yet it's greater than the sum of its parts. How was something shaped like this ever made? For that matter, how did they even refine this kind of material? Tell me, where did you get this? You found it inside... ice? But that's... and yet... Oh, never mind. I can't worry about the details. I have work that must be done. Would you lend me a piece of this broken weapon? I may just be able to repair it. Don't worry, I'm not looking for anything in return. In fact, I'll even make it worth your while. If there's a weapon you need, I'll make it for you. There's something about this broken, fragmented weapon that calls to me. I have to see what it's supposed to look like. The fires inside me that I thought had died out are back with a vengeance! <laughs> I cannot wait. This will be fun! What are you going to look like when you're back to your true self? I'm so excited I can hardly stand it! A new Divergence Matrix has been born. 
a reality that was possible precisely because you arrived at the path you were supposed to. You will bear witness to many things both hereafter and henceforth, previously as well. However, you must not avert your eyes. You must learn the truth and arrive at a solution. That is something only you are allowed to do. At this time, I can say nothing, because there is no meaning in saying anything more. I only ask for your faith. you. Hey, I could use some inputs. Or maybe some wrecks. I had to party up with that force again. It was awful. And I didn't get a say in it. I mean, she's a force. She's got all the endurance of a paper bag, but she keeps running to the head of our formation anyway. I asked her why, and she said it was because the best defense is to destroy enemies faster. She just dove in headlong, didn't even care. I can't work with this. Every time I try to reason with her, she digs in her heels and refuses to listen. I barely averted the worst case scenario by doing what I could to draw enemies off her. But man, forces are such a pain to work with! You should never push stuff like that on your teammates. There's no I in team. And just so we're clear, the only reason I helped out was because I'm a hunter. I had zero ulterior motives. If you have a moment, I would like to discuss something, or maybe gripe. I'm still on the fence about that part. See, I partied with this hunter recently. I objected, but I didn't get a say in it, right? It was just not working, though. Every time I tried to step up, he would get in my way and drone on about it being dangerous. I know hunters are tough, but they are not invincible. It makes more sense to take enemies out fast. But that stubborn fool insists on clinging to the stereotypical idea that hunters should always take point. He did protect me and all, but we were dreadfully inefficient, and I felt like I had to walk on eggshells around him. Partying with a hunter is so tiring. I have nothing personal against them, but I would sooner stick with forces. Afraid. See over there. They started to peek out, but they still refuse to come any closer. And I don't want to scare them by getting too close myself. <laughs> Pretty sad state of affairs, huh? Here I am, afraid to make a move, out of fear of rejection. Thank you. 
Hi, out exploring today? Me? Uh, well, I've reached a point where I can get closer to them and even touch them, but... Yes, that's right. This person is a friend of mine. Hmm, I wonder if they understand me. Do you get it? This person is my friend. That's usually how it goes. It feels like I'm still missing something crucial to understanding them. I know they communicate among themselves using their voices, so I'm sure it should be possible for me to as well, but... Hmm? <laughs> me and this one? Yes, we're friends. Oh, wait, hang on. That sounded like the same number of words that I just spoke. Are your vocal organs just different from ours? Hey, wait up! Sorry, but I need to go after them. Are those your footsteps I hear? Oh, please forgive me for speaking so bluntly. I'm a bit injured is all, but please leave me be. I am not in need of your kindness. I do not deserve it. Not since all was lost ten years ago. Not until Master Gedim Holt smiles once again. No. Not until he can trust someone again. Not until then can I... I... Shada! Close your damn mouth! Unless you want to fly to land in it. Oh! Master Gedimholt! If you've got energy to flap your lips, then get those legs moving instead! And you, quit sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. If you don't want to get cut down before your prime, that is. I'm terribly sorry. You say I seem awfully chipper? I'm always chipper! People say I waste a lot of energy, but I say it's better than not having any at all. See, I've got this one friend in ARCs. No motivation whatsoever. I feel bad for him, really. I would swap places in an instant if I could. Too bad I can't. The best I can do is act as backup for ARCs-related personnel. The examination for that is just as hard as the one for ARCs proper. But hey, I've got a goal, so I'll push toward it. I'll prove that motivation beats talent any day of the week. Um... Hello. We see each other a lot, huh? Um, why did you join ARCs? Oh, no, no, I didn't mean that in a bad way. I, I'm just curious. Someone I know couldn't join ARCs? She didn't have the aptitude for it, apparently. She always talked about joining ARCs one day, but she doesn't have the talent for it, I guess. 
that I became an ARCS operative and she didn't is well, illogical, really. If I could, I'd give my aptitude to her, but that's not the way this works. Why me? She's way more suited to being an ARCS operative than I am. Excellent timing. I've taken a look at the broken weapon you brought me the other day, and I've learned that even that is only part of a greater whole. Which means there are other parts from this broken weapon somewhere out there. But I guess there are two more that have yet to be found. I think I could restore this weapon with makeshift parts based on what I imagine it once looked like. But that would cause it to lose what makes it so special. So I have a request. If you happen to find the other damaged parts, could you bring them to me so I can restore this weapon properly? I know it's a long shot, but it never hurts to ask, right? Oi, mate! What brings you out here? Looking for something? Come on now, don't be shy. You can bring me in on it. I'm looking for someone myself. Finding things is what I'm good at. Not that I've found him yet, of course. Well, I'm sure something brought us together here. I'll help you out, mate. What are you looking for? Broken weapon. Take your pick. Everywhere. Oh, is this one special? I guess the quickest way to find out is to get our hands on it. Better to get searching than to sit there mulling it over. Let's hop to it, mate. And preferably get it done quick. There's lots of automata in the area. What's up, mate? What's that? Some kind of pattern? No. Letters? Hmm... I wonder what it says. It seems like it's got some kind of structure to it. Huh? I is that you over there? And you're... Arthur? Huh, what a coincidence! You seem troubled about something. What is it? Oh, you're that girl from before. Uh, Fourier, was it? Yes, that's me. I never thought I'd see you here. Hmm? Huh? Are those hieroglyphs? Hmm, it looks a lot like the doodles these little ones draw. Oh, oh, can you read this? They're saying to go this way. Hmm, I wonder what's over there. Oh, wait! Please, wait! I'm coming! I promise! Oh, they left. They really got her wrapped around their fingers. Anyway, 
What do you want to do, mate? Keep going forward? That hole is way too narrow to... What are you doing? I blasted into bits. That's not what I meant. That's obvious. I'm asking you why you do something so crazy. Because otherwise we wouldn't be able to get through. See? Now it's wide open for us. Oh, there you are. Wait for me. She's certainly... Uh... Energetic? Want to follow them? I'll leave it up to you. I'm too exhausted to make any decisions. is easy to tell. They want to show us something up ahead. Whoa! Whoa what the... Inside? Protect? Machine? Oh, of course! This must be a guardian. Maybe that means it won't attack us if we stay out, but... That isn't an option, is it? You've done so much for me. I hope you'll let me offer what meager assistance I may. This is going to be dangerous, so stay back, okay? Don't come back out until I say so. Now then, here goes.
Oh, oh, that's over with. Oh, oh, what are they doing? Are they pointing at the rubble? I don't see any room to squeeze in there. That's where I come in. Hey, I didn't say to... How are you already done rigging it to blow? I'm ready to apply myself to my fullest. That's a diligent attitude for a cost. But you should apply yourself to something else. Anything else. Yeah. Got sin in my mouth. Excellent. Detonation cave in with unexpected parameters. It's all cleaned up. Now, what was it hiding? What's this? A weapon? Is that what you were looking for, mate? Oh, how lovely. Is that what you wanted to show us? I mean, to show this one. What I'm wondering is how the lily pans knew where it was. Um, important thing... give? I'm sorry, I can't quite parse the details. Well, we get the picture. In fact, they did us a huge favor just by bringing us here. At least you found what you were looking for, mate. Good enough for me. I had. Oh, there you are. Matoy, you know better than to go out without permission. I'm all right. Just a little headache. No, you're not all right. You're still in bad shape. Come on now, back we go. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. See you some other time. Yes, yes! This is another part of that broken weapon. There's no mistaking it. Well, no time like the present. I'm going to get to work on restoring it. Here's hoping you can find the other part, too. A new divergence matrix has sprung forth. The balance tips. The path is laid bare. I and we desire you to seek and obtain. I and we trust that you will accomplish this. Away again. Come on, Professor. I know you're frustrated, but you don't have to take it out on me, do you? 
Besides, what were you expecting when you asked them to be a test subject? Of course they were going to say no. I don't have time for this. Hmm? Ah, oh, it's you. I've been asking the Draconians for help, but so far they've been anything but helpful. At least they're only ignoring you. I'll take that over being attacked out of the blue. Come on, Professor, just forget about it. No research is worth being eaten over. But I have to do something before all life on this planet is consumed. The Draconians seem to think of the Balsvan's corruption as some sort of illness, but they're wrong. It will spread across the entire planet and erode all life on it. Unfortunately, the Draconians are staunch isolationists and don't care about problems from outer space. So I have to meet with... What was it? Road Tribe? Before we pass the point of no return, I have to convince them to cooperate with us. Sorry, I didn't mean to complain for so long. If I learn anything new, I'll be sure to let you know. Take care. See you some other time! You don't have to run at the sight of me, you know. That one has come up already. Do you hear me, Vox? Rebuke your tribesmen. Nuisance. A damn nuisance this is. What's up? Are you actually chatting with a co-tribesman? You want to talk to me? Can it wait? Chasing the co-tribe comes first right now. What's the deal with me and the Draconian? Oh, that's easy. He's dangerous. See? He's getting away while I'm standing here explaining myself. Gotta go! It's you. Excellent timing. Would you help me give this fool the treatment he needs? He's been fighting the false spawn for some time now. We need to hurry and treat him, or he won't last long. That's awfully rude of you. This isn't pity. This is just us doing our jobs as Arxops. We're here to get rid of the false spawn inside you. Nothing more, nothing less. The false spawn inside me. As if you hadn't realized, you know what's happening just as well as I do. You're fighting off its impulses even as we speak. Of course, if you'd prefer to keep going on your current path and end up a false spawn yourself, I'm willing to respect your wishes. You're the one who's mocking life. Pride may be a nice concept, but not when it's used as an excuse to avoid taking action. 
Or is your pride more important than letting all of history be destroyed? Stop lying to yourself, Draconian. I know you understand what's at stake. Your kind is too wise not to see it. Surely I don't need to tell you what will happen the day the Berserk Draconians outnumber the sane ones. Not by myself. As far as Ark's Ops go, I'm a pretty poor example of one. But fortunately, we have this fine Ark's Op here with us. I pale in comparison, really. I have heard your name from them of I. Is this true? Are you the one spoken of in the sagas of Rohan? Are you? Savior, huh? <laughs> There's a title for your Ark's ID, but it may not be too far off the mark. If you need proof, how about we start by saving you? Sound good, Savior? Oi, mate! Are you out exploring too? That's about where I am. <laughs> A whole new world's opened up to us. This is where things really start to take off for me. You wanna help? Well, there's not much to help with. It's a search with no leads. I'd make a tidy profit if I really found a you-know-what. Not that I'm giving up, of course. I'm ready and raring to go. I just wanna be the one to find it, really. Don't you think it's more fulfilling that way? Anyway, thanks for looking out for me, mate. If I need anything, you'll be the first to know. See ya! Uh, excuse me. I was spacing out a little bit. No, no, I'm not hurt. I was just thinking. My friend found out that I was slacking and skipping out on my arc's work. I thought she'd be mad at me, but she was oddly nice about it. She told me not to overwork myself. At first, I felt like she'd forgiven me, but then those words really started to sting. She wanted to be an arc's operative, but she can't. So I should be working hard in her place, and yet... It's so frustrating. It's as if she feels like my laziness is her fault. I hate it. It's not her fault at all. It's mine. Zeno, you're not together? He'd give me an enjoyable fight at least. <sighs> the one time he doesn't annoyingly butt in. What a bore. As usual, he's never any help when push comes to shove. <laughs> he really hasn't changed a bit. I might just bust a gut laughing. I wonder who you'll turn out like. Zeno! For me, I'm pissing myself waiting to find out. Come on, Cena. Don't bother asking me about it. I'm not the least bit interested in whatever transpired between Master Gedimhold and Zeno. Good day.
Don't mind me. I was simply observing, for combat reference. Still, it's fascinating. You have more than just sharp senses. You have extremely high prowess in other aspects as well. Yours is a most reassuring presence to your fellow Arcs, but... I, I never mentioned it before, did I? I too am with Arcs, in a sense. You and I are essentially on the same side, so you don't need to be wary around me. That's enough observation for today. That accursed dragon must have hidden it. Oh, so you're here too. That weapon's here, right? There's talk of that masked jerk being sighted, too. Hey, um, this line of conversation is freaking me out. Let's just hurry up and go! I don't want to hang around a terrifying place like this. Uh, unfortunately for you, we're here to search every nook and cranny of this terrifying place. So, you want to go back alone, or...? N no Leaving you two on your own is way too dangerous! Uh-huh. Sure. Well, hey, since we've run into each other, let's all stick together, yeah? Though, the question is, how do we go about searching? Wait. Shut up, boss. Uh, uh, Draconian? Is he an enemy? Calm down, Echo. It doesn't seem like it. I am Stress. I grant to you. You have saved our lives. Bad. Intense. So that's how Draconians speak, huh? Well, I guess it's more like telepathy than speaking. Anyway, apparently someone's waiting west of here. It didn't seem like a trap. What do you want to do? I'll leave our route up to you. And, uh, Echo? How long are you planning on clinging to me? Huh? I'm not clinging to you! I was holding you back because I thought you might leap at him! What kind of brain-dead idiot do you think I am, exactly?
Hey, a draconian. Looks like they were waiting for you. You have come, child of Arcs. So, when the draconian was talking about someone waiting, it was you. I did not summon you. I too am but a bearer of words. Regardless, I am impressed. You and the researcher were able to have dialogue with the call. Today, as the all, you have opened the way to further progress. I am grateful to have encountered you. Grateful to Demi Odom. I have shed over long. The meaning of my words will become clear once you proceed further within, beyond this point. You are expected. Proceed, child of arcs. This is kind of exciting. What's waiting for us farther in? <laughs> be careful! There could still be traps! Why don't you just go back already? Hard to believe you're an Arx when your knees are shaken from your fear of heights. <laughs> <laughs>